Today I'm going to tell you about this right here. I know what you might be thinking, this guy is going to spend 10 minutes talking about tree bark. But I promise this is no ordinary tree bark. And I'm going to tell you why this is, th this particular one is so special. I'm also going to explain how this simple plant is a way to help us bring two worlds together. That of medical science and indigenous ways of knowing. But before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory in the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respect to the First Nation and Métis ancestors of this place and reaffirm our relationship with one another. So this is willow bark. Willow trees are found all over Saskatchewan and all over the world, primarily in the Northern Hemisphere. For many Indigenous peoples, willows were more than just a tree, they were a source of medicine. And the bark has traditionally been used as a healer for physical ailments. Willow bark contains a compound known as salicin which when broken down by the body turns into salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is one of the key ingredients in what we know today as aspirin or ASA or acetyl salicylic acid. In many indigenous cultures, willow bark was used to treat headaches, back pain, and joint inflammation. By carefully harvesting the bark and boiling it into a tea or making a medicinal paste, they tapped into the natural pain relieving properties of the plant. The healing wisdom came not only from trial and error, but also from the deep respectful relationship these communities held with their environment. The, wholeness, the holistic nature of the whole willow bark that indigenous people use holds additional benefits compared to the willow bark extract. This includes a more potent factor of pain relief where other molecules help potentiate the main pain relieving effect. In the heart of traditional indigenous knowledge lies a deep understanding of the natural world, its plants, animals, and landscapes. My background and my history helped shape who I am and how I see the world. And I have carried these traditional teachings with me to, to where I am today. I am a walking example of two worlds coming together and I envision a future where this becomes a norm. I'm a graduate student in the College of Medicine here at the University of Saskatchewan, and my research focuses on diabetes and pain. However, I have been working on developing the idea of Indigenous neuroscience for the past half decade. My goal through Indigenous neuroscience is to bring harmony and cooperation between Western science and Indigenous ways of knowing, and to bridge the gap between the two worlds. You may have never heard the, t the term Indigenous Neuroscience before because it's, emerging, it's an emerging field of study and there isn't much precedence. Indigenous Neuroscience is a practice of observing, interacting with, and learning from nature in order to enhance human health and well-being. And when I say enhance health and well-being, that doesn't only mean physical health, but also a healthy mind and nervous system. From my perspective, there is no question on the validity of indigenous ways of knowing. In the vast stage of Western science, indigenous neuroscience now emerges as a prime candidate as a field of study when examining the connection between the mind and the brain. Generally, there are very few studies on the synergy between the two important aspects, mind and brain. While it can be hard to define, I think most of us can see that the brain and the mind are two different things, even though they are, they are intricately connected. Indigenous peoples from all around the world have developed a deep understanding of their environment and how plants and natural substances can influence the body and mind. Consider, for example, the case of willow bark. Indigenous cultures from North America to Euro Europe have long used willow bark for its pain relieving and anti-inflammatory properties. These properties were known long before modern medicine began to explore the compounds inside plants. We now know through scientific studies that willow bark's healing effects are rooted in chemistry. Salicin, the compound within willow bark, works by inhibiting an enzyme in the body called cyclooxygenase, or COX. This enzyme plays a significant role in producing chemicals that mediate pain, fever, and inflammation. By reducing the production of these chemicals, salicin can ease the discomfort associated with conditions like arthritis, headaches, and muscle pain. What I find so fascinating is that Indigenous peoples discovered the pain relieving effects of willow bark long before the science behind was, uh, was understood. It's a testament to their empirical knowledge of the natural world, 
their bodies, and how to treat ailments without the benefit of modern laboratory equipment. Their knowledge systems reflected a sophisticated understanding of the human body, one based on careful observation, listening to the body's responses, and adapting treatments over time. And looking at people in their environment as a whole, instead of dividing us up as a bunch of disconnected parts, this is where the intersection of Indigenous knowledge and modern neuroscience become most striking. Neuroscience today is deeply focusing on understanding the body's uh, pain response systems and how the brain interprets signals from uh, the nervous system. Traditional Indigenous healing methods like those using willow bark can be seen as early forms of neuropharmacology, targeting pain through natural substances. But beyond just its pharmacological applications, Willow bark is so much more than a natural form of aspirin. And this is the message I really want to share today and what guides me in my work. Willow bark carries with it a cultural and spiritual significance. In many indigenous traditions, trees are revered as beings with spirits, capable of offering not only physical healing, but also wisdom. The relationship between the willow, willow tree is not only one of healing the body, but of understanding the interconnectedness of all life forms. It teaches patience, respect, and reciprocity. In today's world, there is a growing movement to integrate traditional Indigenous knowledge with modern scientific understanding. Indigenous peoples hold the key to many natural remedies and treatments, offering insights that could complement contemporary neuroscience and medicine. But the challenge is that it is difficult to link the two worlds together because of historical factors outside the sciences and Western science that question the validity of such treatments. The recognition of these ancient practices and their integration into modern medicine is crucial for a more sustainable and respectful approach to health. By learning from and honoring the ways in which indigenous communities have understood the natural world, we may find pathways to healing that not only address physical pain, but also reconnect us to the earth and, one, and to one another. So the next time you find yourself seeking relief from a headache, a sore back or aching joints, remember the humble willow tree and the centuries of indigenous wisdom that have guided us to its healing properties. From its bark, we have learned not only to, how to alleviate pain, but how to engage with the world in a way that respects and nurtures life. Willow bark is a testament to the profound knowledge of Indigenous peoples, a wisdom that continues to resonate today. Thank you.